Hi everyone, welcome to Fun Fold Friday. This week we're doing an easy fun fold that I actually found in Pinterest. It was from one um, from another Stampin' Up! demonstrator named Terry Gaines. I don't, I'm not familiar with her, but I just happened across it. And she had done one using the first frost set and some retired cardstock called um, 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 hmm, frosted floral specialty designer series paper. Anyway, um, so I today am going to use a couple different papers, but I'm featuring Hoot Hoot Hooray which is in the beginner stamp sets. Um, one second, I have to close my door because my air conditioning is going to disturb us. Sorry about the glare. Um, so I use every stamp on here except for this little one, which I thought was more for a tag because it's real thin and narrow and says for you. But I use these four and we're going to make one together using the happy birthday. So let me show you what I've done. It's a really cute set and it's um, for beginners you can just easy stamp and these were also they're about the right size for a three by three note card which I may do in a separate uh, thing okay so here's my owl he was the first one I did now when Terry made her she had the little flap going this way and I switched it around to have it going that way um, this is the terracotta tile this is the designer series paper in the um, pattern papers that go with the 2019 to 21 in colors this year. And I picked the gingham. Over here, uh, this little piece, and I'll give you measurements later, um, but each card is going to be a little different and I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, but this little piece on hers was four and a quarter wide by I'm sorry, that's not right. Three and a half by three and a half, but scored at two and three quarters. So it actually ends up being three and a half long and about three wide. And then I use a little piece of early espresso. I stamped him in early espresso and then I colored him in light and dark crumb cake. And I want to say so saffron for his eyes and calypso coral for his little beak because we don't have terracotta tile in um, the stampin blends these are all stampin blends and then i just took a little old old olive and put it under his feet to ground him and it says hoot hoot hooray this piece is just glued on top with um snail actually and this is the new terracotta tile linen ribbon and what I did is I embossed this with the uh, layered leaves 3D embossing folder, which when I got it was number 143704, but the new catalog it's 152321, layered leaves 3D. And then I did um, this piece of Whisper White is four by five and a quarter. I did bring in a congratulations stamp and that's out of the well said the second uh, set and there it is and I thought the font of it went pretty good with the font of the th that was on the owl more just like typewritten I think on her um, Terry's card she didn't put a font on the in anything on the inside it was just blank and then I did use just three um, adhesive back sequins from the basic adhesive back sequins I think they're called and this is the one that's sort of the Sahara sand color but it's it's a neutral tan and I thought that went well and it's sort of fall colors so hoot hoot hooray congratulations then that could be for anything that you're congratulating people for so that was my first one the second one I made according to her measurements again this is on soft sea foam I just happen to have this piece oh and the base of this is five and a half like you normally would do but only six and seven eighths and then you score at four and a quarter so this becomes your normal size card base but it's basically a little shorter you know it's not it's not really half but it's not um it's not um three quarter either 
Anyway, and then I used another piece in the Subtles Designer Series papers. I have this, this one, this pattern. Um, and this is the Welcome Little One. So I colored the rocking horse. The little bear is in um, soft suede. The horse is actually in, we have two individual ones. This is ivory and it doesn't come light and dark. It just comes ivory. It's meant for skin tones. So I used ivory and then I also used bronze to do his little hooves instead of black. And also right here on this little, um, like the part that attaches. And then I colored his his mane and stuff in dark mint macaroon and the straps in mint macaroon. And I did bring in some petal pink in both their ears and I think that's about it. So that's it, just easy coloring, not really any shading and um, just kept it simple. And this is the mint macaron, I think it's called satin ribbon, um, hang on, or textured ribbon. There it is. Yeah, textile ribbon, one quarter inch and mint macaron. And I think I left the inside on this one blank. I did. So um, I did run this through the subtle. Um, I don't know if you can see it with the glare. There we go. So this little piece has texture. All right. And it goes like that. So let me put these down somewhere. I don't know where there over there then then I went bright um, I decided to get a little bright here so this one um, I wanted bright and cheery I used Pacific Point as the um, cardstock which is in the brights and I use the ooh, what is this called see a silhouette designer series paper it has all these bright cheerful colors I didn't get the stamp sets and stuff that went with this, but I just got this paper because it's so bright and cheerful. And so I put um, a piece of that down here and um, this I think I had a different size scrap. So it's a little bit longer and about the same width as the others, but a little bit longer. And I colored, I stamped all this in Pacific Point as well, and then I colored this in light pool party and this in light real red, and then this is the real red cotton ribbon, which brings out the colors in the paper. And then on the inside, I decided I had this extra strip of um, paper, and I just had to cut it down a little bit, and it fit right under here. So instead of seeing white there, you see color, and I, I really like how that turned out. So you can do these however you really want to do them, you know. So that's the third one. And then the fourth one, same thing. Um, this one, I intentionally cut this longer and a little thinner because this flower was thinner and I didn't want it to feel lost on the paper. This is also from the Sia Silhouette Designer Series paper. Um, here on the inside, I did leave it blank white except that I had again a little strip and I just put that along the edge so it's you know whoever could write their sentiment in there um, is it probably be better to write it in this area of the card <laughs> um, so this is just colored in light daffodil delight light mango melody and I think dark old olive for some reason I went dark this is another piece of that same paper I just felt like it needed something down here and I wasn't feeling the ribbons. I again embossed that in the subtle. And then, um, then I put these little, um, these were carried over from the occasions catalog. They're in Daffodil Delight. They're the little adhesive back sequins, Gingham Gala adhesive back sequins. They are in the annual catalog In they come in different colors, Highland Heather, Mm, I want to say balmy blue, this one and two others, I can't remember. And then I felt like this needed something over here. So I just took a strip of Whisper White that I had and a strip of the Daffodil Delight. I ran that one through the embossing also, but not the white, layered them up. 
and I used a little bit of leftover from one of the paper pumpkin kits, uh, white twine, and just put a put that down with a glue dot. And I think that came out really pretty. And that when you like getting that in the mail saying you made my day, I think, and I would. <laughs> Okay, so those are the ones that I made already, and now we're going to use the other stamps that I didn't use yet, and that's the birthday one, and we're going to use Flirty Flamingo. So the first thing, this is, I think, three by three. I wrote this all down. I don't have to measure. Yes, this is three inch by three inch, um, and I'll go over the other me measurements later. So let me pull out Flirty Flamingo. Oh, let's see what other colors we should use. We'll use Wink of Stella on here. Maybe, um, where's my, I don't have Coastal Cabana, but I do have Light Bermuda Bay. And maybe purple, right? Do I have Gorgeous Grape? Highland Heather. What's this? Oh, Purple Posy. Purple Posy. That should go with it, right? I think that's enough. We'll just use those colors. I think they look pretty together. All right, and maybe a little crumb cake for the wrapper. <laughs> Light crumb cake. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. Let's just color the sprinkles in first while I think about how else I want to do this. <laughs> I'm just going to lightly tap it because it will bleed. And we'll do a little dot. And we'll do this and a little dot. And then we'll do, let's do dark. Um, would I say purple posy? Purple posy. We'll do both of them like that. And flirty flamingo dark. And I think, I think we're going to use dark crumb cake. Let me test it for the cupcake wrappers. Mm, let me see if I have a different, maybe, no, not ivory. Uh, soft suede is probably too dark. All right, we're going to use light soft suede down here be chocolate cupcakes, right? I don't have really espresso in um, Stampin' Blends. But you could use these. You could use markers. I just use Stampin' Blends because I think they're faster. And I'm not being fussy. And I'm not going to be doing shading. <laughs> nope. Okay. And then um I think we're going to use that for the sticks too. And I'm using the brush tip, but usually for the sticks, I like to use, you know, the thin areas. I like to use the nib point. Okay, now, um, let's put these away. Let us use Flirty Flamingo Light. Which one is this? Light? Oh, it's rubbed off. Well, yes, because this is dark. All right. So we're going to just color the icing in with the Flirty Flamingo, and that'll match the paper that we're using then. I'm just kind of going around in circles at the edges. And on the clouds that I did earlier, I did go around in circles too, and it actually made it look a little more like clouds, you know, sort of puffy. So, and then we will go over them with a little wink of Stella, make that icing glisten. So this takes the longest of the card, really. 
and I've already pre-cut all the paper. Um, but you could go ahead and cut all your paper in advance and do assembly line. I just wanted to use this set. And then, hmm, I think we'll use light Coastal Cabana for the banner. Because that's, I'm just feeling that. Something bright and cheerful. Sorry for the silence, guys. Okay. I think that's pretty good. A couple little white spots I'm not happy with. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's time to assemble our card. I'm going to sit this aside for a minute, and we're going to do the front. So like I said, this is five and a half by six and seven eighths, scored at four and a quarter. So there's your front flap. And I had this piece of leftover, so this is a little skinny for the flap. So I decided to mat it on a piece of Whisper White. So this Whisper White is two and one eighths by five and a quarter, and the DSP is two inches by five and an eighth. So let me just glue those down. Actually, um, I think what I want to do first is I decided I want to use some of this, um, what do you call this ribbon? Polka dot ribbon, the tool ribbon. So let me get my snail. Just put a little back here to tack it. And my snips. And we'll do a fake bow. <laughs> because they don't take up quite as much room, but this will add a little sparkle to a birthday card too. So there's that. And then let's try and um, do a little bow, fake bow. I'm pretty good at fake bows usually, usually. I'm not going to take it off the roll till I get this done. All right. I'm going to put a little extra on there. Okay. And we can cut that back some more later. Okay, so let's glue that down. My glue is just about empty, but that's okay. We're going to finish it up. I might be at the end of my special glue that I use. I'll have to check. But I do have a couple other Tombows, so I can use them. And I have Stampin' Up! Spine Tip Glue. So we're going to put this onto the Whisper White. Just to give it a little mat around it. It has to go up a little higher. Yep, I have to pick it up right away. Because this glue is not very forgiving. Okay, let me rub my fingers because they're gluey. All right, so then we're going to stick that down on the front here. I will have to trim that uh, ribbon. We'll do that at the end. So I hope you're having a good day. It's Friday today, the what 16th of August, I think. Okay, now, this is three by three. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I felt like I needed something besides just having 
the pink flamingo. Um, so it's going to be matted and I didn't have any more gingham. So, um, but I did have a piece of this. So this is four inches wide by three and a half inch high and I scored it a half inch. So that means I did not emboss this one this time. Let me see what I did with my bone folder. Here we go. Sorry for the messy desk. I just had all my measurements written down so I would remember them for you. And um, okay, so how this works, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and we have another piece we need for the inside, which is four inches by five and a quarter inches high. So I'm gonna set the main card base aside for a minute because what we need to do now is assemble this onto the white four inches wide by five and a quarter inches high. We're going to glue this centered as best we can onto the whisper white, so onto the back. So let me do that. This is a very easy, quick card once you get all your pieces cut. And um, I'm going to put the one for the measurements for this card out on my blog. Um, maybe not today, but sometime over the weekend. It might be today. I'm not sure. So let me push that down good and make sure that's in actually good. Okay, it's actually a little bit crooked, but there we go. Okay, then we're going to put this down, but I think we're going to put this down onto here first. Um, I don't know that I have any flirty flamingo kinds of gems, but maybe we'll just use some clear. Something sparkly between that and the Wink of Stella. All right. One sec, guys. Okay, so let's finish this up. I'm just gluing, 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 right? <laughs> Pretty easy. All right, make sure, important part is making sure you get it right side up. All right, there we go. Okay, and then all we have to do, see how that flaps, right? All we have to do is put this in here. So we're going to glue that down to the inside. And I do prefer wet glue for this, but um, honestly, I do prefer this wet glue. You can use snail if you so desire. Um, or tear and tape, but I, that just takes too long for me. I need, I need the instant part of it. Oop. Let's see if we can get this lined up pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then this goes like this. So I think we just need the Wink of Stella, and then I think we need um, a little something something uh, up here to make it sparkle. I do like that ribbon there. I might trim it a little bit more, but for now it's okay. Let's see if that's even adding. Yep, it's adding a little. My Wink of Stella, I think, is almost dry, which I can probably refill one time with a little alcohol to make it last a little longer. But I have, a, I think I have another backup one. I'm not sure. Okay, let me get some sparklies. We could use sequins, but I'm kind of feeling like I want to use bling 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 just a few blingy dots okay i had to use the other end for this maybe just one here and one here oops that one looks 
looks like it has a cat hair on it. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Maybe one here. Or here. I don't like, I need, I need, that's not appealing to me. So we'll put a couple more on here. Over there. Oops, over there. Okay, that's all we're going to do. And put my little tool away here, my bone folder. All right, guys, that is our final card. So easy peasy. Fun Fold Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making these and um, I enjoyed using the set to do it. Just bringing in some different colorful papers. Um, let me get this out of the way. Close my glue. Maybe. <laughs> get this out of the way. And see if we can show you all the cards here. There we go. There we have it. It's just an easy fun fold. I have no idea what the name of it is, but um, it's like a flap, I guess, flap fun fold. And you can have the flap go on either side. I mean, most people are used to opening a card on this side, but I wanted to be different with our little owl guy, and I wanted some fall colors in there. So there we are, all five cards from the Hoot Hoot Hooray cling stamp set by Stampin' Up and we used all the stamps except for the For You and a little bit out of the Well Said which is a great all-purpose set of um, sentiments and yeah all sentiments basically and there yeah. all right I hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll be back on Saturday the 17th with at least one video. Talk to you soon.